Hi guys, um, Perfect Runner Friends in particular. Uh, welcome to um, the short strength and conditioning session. So um, this is just going to be a 10 minute-ish workout working on a uh, range of motion, getting you a little bit more mobile, uh, working on balance. Important things for running, obviously your ABCs of running, your agility, your balance and your coordination. Difficult to work on agility at the moment because we're kind of all stuck in, but uh, we can still work on our balance and we can definitely still work on our core strength and our leg strength and our overall body strength. All of these are really important for running. Also the balance because a lot of what we do or all that we do as runners actually is done on one leg. So, um, you know, you're always balanced on one leg because if running wasn't on one leg, then obviously it would be called jumping. But it's not jumping, it's running, so it's balancing. And so we're going to actually strengthen through the ankle um, and, and help us to support us when we're, when we're on one leg. Um, so I'm going to do a few of these different videos. This is just the first one, but I'm going to keep this one up there so that you can keep repeating and watching it. This is why it's better not for me to do it live. You can just do it in your own time and also just keep doing it if you find it beneficial at all and um, what helps to sort of motivate you to get on and, and do something. Some of the stuff will get more into core work, um, but today we've got a little bit of a mix, a little bit of a taster really uh, for lots of different things. If you need to pause the video at any time, obviously you can, another benefit to it being recorded. And um, I am actually just winging this as I go along. I mean, I've obviously planned the session, but I'm not going to edit this at all. So I might say crazy things, I might go wrong, um, but that's what it is because I'm doing loads and loads of recording at the moment for my different sessions and my clients. So it's just going to be what it is. And, um, and, and so I'm sorry if, <laughs> if it goes wrong. Um, okay. So basically, um, I'm going to go through the moves that we're going to do. Hopefully you've done my warm-up video first. If you haven't, I would encourage you to do that. I mean, we haven't got an awful lot of jumping around in this. It's more strength and conditioning. Um, however, it is good to do the warm-up first uh, because you will be challenging yourself and, you know, for limiting uh, the chances of, of injuring yourself, I would encourage you to do the warm-up video first and then come on to this if you haven't already done so. And um, then you can move on to the, uh, my stretch video afterwards okay so let's go through uh, the different moves we've got all you need is a mat or a carpet you don't need a mat at all actually you can manage on a carpet it's just a case of laying down for some of them and um, that's all we need so we're going to first of all work on um, our squats we're going to have a go at squats so this is fantastic for a range of motion improving range of motion because it's going to get you um, better into the hips the knees and the ankles okay so that's what we're going to be strengthening when we're squatting but it's really really important we're going to go through it first um, and just work on our technique I'm going to put some music on so it's not quite so um, it's just not me talking but I'm not going to do that yet I'm going to do that when we go through um, our timed session okay so first of all let's just go through it so you can check out your technique make sure you're getting it right when you do your squats you want to make sure those knees are not collapsing in so focus on the knees tracking over the tops of the feet. If you find that actually your knees do collapse in a little bit, and I would, I would ask you to do it in front of a mirror because you might think they're not, and they might be. So just check yourself out in a mirror um, and make sure your knees are coming over your feet. And if you find your knees wanna go in, then just focus on pushing your knees out slightly as you come down, and then you'll find they probably will just track nicely over your feet. So that's the first thing that's really important. Um, this is all to avoid knee injury, by the way. So if you're somebody who says, oh yeah, I can't squat because it's bad for my knees. Well, squatting's not bad for your knees, just bad squatting is bad for your knees. So we're gonna do it right, guys, okay? So also important to get those hips back. So we're gonna get the hips back and back and up. Because then, if you get your hips back, your knees are not coming forwards of your toes either. It's not great in here, I know, but hopefully you can see now my knees are coming forwards forwards and that's really bad for your knees. My heels are coming off the floor and that's really bad too. So your heels must stay on the floor in the squat, your hips must go back and your knees must track over your feet. So we're just going to have a practice of a few of those for you. When we start the timer, you're really confident in it. Okay, so push through the heels as you come up and that's the squat. The next one we'll be working on is a bit of balance. So first of all guys, I'm just going to challenge your balance a little bit. I want you to just stand and just lift one leg off the floor. Now my balance isn't the best, so I'm gonna try as hard as I can. And that's simply all we're doing. Now if you find that easy, 
Challenge yourself further by starting to look around. You'll feel your foot wobbling around and that's okay. Your ankle is trying to stabilize to hold you in place. Squeeze your stomach muscles so that you're really using your core to stabilize you. If that's easy, you can start to look up. That's gonna challenge you even more. So looking up, looking around you. It's not easy for me, look, my foot's gone down. Oh, and again. So if that doesn't challenge you enough, then you can actually close your eyes. You close your eyes and do it, then you'll find that will challenge you a lot more. Okay, when we do our timed ones, we're going to then step that back into a lunge and then into a knee up. Woo! <laughs> I told you, this is all like a live recording. And up into a knee up. So down and then up. Squeeze the stomach. Down into a lunge. So your knee almost touches the ground. Push up and then up and hold it for a few seconds, okay? Right, so let's try that on the other leg. First of all, we're just doing the balance. The knee comes up. Focus on a spot if you need to. Squeeze the tummy. Posture's nice and tall. If it's not challenging you, begin to look around. If that doesn't challenge you, start to look up. And if that's not enough, close your eyes. And I'm sure that even for the most balanced people, one of those versions is gonna be challenging. Okay, so now we're gonna try and do the lunge to knee raise. So lunge it back, bending both knees, up, focus, balance. Hold it, lunge it down. Whoop. This is good for me too. This is forcing me into actually working on some, an area that I'm weak on too. So that's gonna be really good. Okay, so now you've had a practice of those, you'll know what we're gonna do when we're doing the balance. It'll be the lunge to knee up, balance lunge to knee up, balance. Okay, that's the one. So squats, reverse lunge with a balance. We'll do one leg, then we'll do the other. Then we're gonna go into glute bridges, guys. Now, probably most of you are familiar with this, but uh, we'll go through it anyway, because I shouldn't just assume. You're gonna lay down on your back. Now, if you have your feet further away from your bottom, you're gonna actually work through your hamstrings. Have a little go and lift your hips up, and you'll probably feel that in your hamstring quite a lot. And that's not what we're looking for. I want to do this for glute strength. So because of that, I want you to bring your feet a little bit closer to your bottom, okay? Now, you're going to squeeze your bottom before you lift. So squeeze your bottom and keep that squeeze on all the way up so your hips are up in line with your legs, with your thighs, and keep that squeeze on as hard as you can. We're going to pause for a few seconds and then bring it down almost to the floor. Squeeze and lift. We're not quite going down to the floor, but almost, okay? And that's how it's going to be. Now, if that's not challenging for you, or you actually do a lot of glute bridges anyway, you can take it into a single leg glute bridge. So you're just gonna bring one leg out straight, and you're gonna do exactly the same thing. Squeeze your bottom, lift your hips, and lower. Okay, and then you'll do the same on the other leg. Squeeze and lift, almost to the floor. Squeeze and lift. So whichever version you want to do, on the glute bridges you can do. Now, next we've got, standing up again, our jumping lunges. Now, this isn't for everybody. If you find that you're not very good with lunges, or you have got a little bit of a knee issue at the moment, I don't want you to do the jumping lunges, okay? So you can just do the reverse lunges, focusing on form and taking your time. So this will be a reverse lunge, stepping back into your lunge and up, and then you're gonna alternate the other leg. Okay, but if you want to take that into a jump lunge, what I want you to do is to lunge it back and then jump. Okay, but what you can do is to when you do the jump, hold on, let's jump, lunge it back, then jump, stop, check your technique, and then lower it down. So you don't have to go straight down, you can just land it, check it out, and then dip it down. So land it, check it out, then dip it down. That's going to be our jump lunge going to be great for leg strength, great for getting into those quads. Um, finally, the last one we're going to practice is our dead bugs. I didn't make that name up, that's what they're really called. Okay, so this is one that looks like nothing, but it is quite challenging, and you have to make sure you're doing it right, which is why we're doing them first before we actually turn the timer on. So you're going to lay down, flat on your back, your knees are going to come up so that your legs are at tabletop position, 
So that just means kind of 90 degree bend, roughly straight up. So your shins are kind of parallel to the ceiling. Then your arms are going to come straight up to the ceiling. Now, the most important thing in this is that your back is pushed into the floor. Okay, so if I do this, my back's really arched, pushing with a slight pelvic tilt and pushing the belly button down towards the ground. That way, I've now engaged my core, my back is flat into the ground. Now, in this exercise, you have to keep your back flat into the ground the whole time. So you do the level that you can manage, but any time that your back lifts up, you need to take it down to a different level if you're working it to a level that actually you can't, your core is not ready to do. So to start with, you're just gonna tap one foot, have a go at that now, and then the other foot, slowly. Okay, everything else just stays where it is. With a bent knee, we're just tapping our foot, and you're focusing on that back. If it's coming off the ground, stop, readjust, push it into the ground, pull your belly button in. Okay, now if you can do that, okay, let's take it into a straight leg. Very slowly, straight leg out, return to tabletop, is your back staying pushed into the floor? Now, when you get to this point here, that's when it's difficult. You're gonna to have to really squeeze those abdominal muscles, keep you in place. Now, if you can do that okay, we're gonna go into full dead bug. So we're gonna do opposite arm and opposite leg. Here comes your coordination. So opposite arm, oh, I need to shift down a little bit. I'm too long for the room. So arms are up, pushing the back in, opposite arm, opposite leg, one arm staying up, and then I'm coming back to the central position, the start position, before I then change sides. Okay, back to the start position. So this is not about speed, this is about technique and making sure that your back is not stressed and not coming off that floor. And at any point, if you find it is, you can take it right back to the basics, just tapping one leg after the other, okay? So have a couple of goes of that now. If you find your coordination is challenged and you end up doing this, like a lot of people do, don't worry, just keep it slow and as long as that back is into the ground, you will still be getting a training benefit from it. Really important that we work on our stabilising muscles in our core um, and that will help us with everything in life actually and not just our running, but it will help with our running. So that's all of the exercises. I'm going to put some music on, I'm going to put the timer on, we're going to do 30 seconds of working. And we're going to have a, oh, that's my um, speaker turned itself off. It got fed up with me gibbering on. I'll turn it back on in a minute. So 30 seconds, um, followed by, uh, what did I say? 15 seconds recovery. But we're going to go straight from one exercise into the other, okay? I'll remind you of what we're doing. Hopefully I'll get it right. We're going to put some music on. And remember, technique is everything, okay? So just... Slow it down. <clears throat> if you need to pause the video at any time and get some water on board, please do. It's really important to keep hydrated. So on that note, I'm going to have a quick swig. If you're doing this video for the second or third time, you don't need to hear all that. You don't need to practice all of that. You just want to get straight into it. I'm going to wave at you now. This is the point you want to wind the video to. Paul is waving. This is the bit where we're going to actually start the work. Yeah, I think self-isolation is getting to me. Anyway. Okay, so we're going to start with the squats. And we're going to go for 30 seconds. And then 15 seconds recovery. You ready? Get ready to squat. Let's go. So hips back and up. Push through the heels as you stand up and squeeze those bottom muscles now. So we go down and we're squeezing. Get those hips back. Get those squats nice and deep. How low can you go? Squeeze. Quality squats. Squeeze. One more. Okay guys, we're gonna go into the reverse lunge with the leg lift, all on one side. So choose which side you want to start. We're going to step it back, and bring it into a leg lift for 30 seconds. I'm going to wobble, it's challenging me. Let's go. So reverse lunge, into leg lift, hold it. Now this is slow and controlled. Keep squeezing that tummy. 
use your core to stabilize you. Keep at it guys. Hold it. Okay, I'm going to change it to the other leg. Got 15 second recovery. Shake legs out if you need to. Make sure you don't work the same side again. Some of my guys from my circuits, make sure you don't do the same side. Let's go. So step in it back and up. Hold it to challenge yourself. Lunge it back. Woo! And up. See, I don't have the greatest balance. And that's why I'm a faller when I run. Faller Paula. That should be my nickname. But I do think I'm getting better. I don't fall as much as I used to, which is a bonus. Okay guys, both legs are done. Glute bridges are next, so hitting it on the floor. Get ready for lifting those hips up. So, don't have your feet long way away, keep them fairly close to your bottom. Okay, off we go. Squeeze your glutes first, lift, squeeze, and lower. Squeeze, and lower. Squeeze, and lower. Keep going. Remember, if you want to do the single legs, just bring one up. Do a few. You can do them all on one side, and then in the second set, you could do the other side. Keep squeezing. Okay, guys, that's the end of that one. Ooh. Jump lunges coming up. Remember, if you have a bad knee, you're just going to lunge it out. Okay, otherwise, you can add the jumps in. Let's go. Keep focused. there. Okay. Ah. Oh. Dead bugs. Right, remember, most important thing is back into the floor. Legs are up, arms are up. Let's go. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Slow and controlled. Don't let that back come up. Coming up off the floor. Go back to tapping the foot. Just introduce the arms again when you're ready. And that is the end of round one. So get some water. Well done, guys. And go for it all again in a minute. Paul's going to scream at me now for a bit. Get a little bit of a breather. So if anything starts to twinge or ache a little bit, just change it. If you're doing the jumps, lunges, and you didn't get on with those very much, you can take it into a forward lunge. So exactly the same, but we're stepping it forwards. If you want to, just for a change. If you don't like lunges at all, you don't get on with them, just practice those squats again. That's fine. And adaptable. And what I'd like you to do is to post on the website, on the Perfect Runners website, how you got on, if there's anything you didn't like, if there's anything you like more of, um, please say. If you want a shout out, please say. And we've got a little bit of a competition as well. So before we carry on, I actually need to show you something. I'm still here. Right. I don't know if you can see this. 
a letter. Okay? Write that down because in each of our sessions I'm going to give you a letter. Just one letter. And that letter is an, going to be an anagram, part of an anagram. At the end of a few workouts, I'll tell you when it's the last one. It's going to spell the name of a member of our club. It might be a man, it might be a lady. There might be more than one person with this name, okay? So I'm not specifying which particular if there is. It's just a name of a member of our club. And it's a competition to see who can get it first. Okay, I'm not going to announce the winner until the end, so you won't know if you're right or wrong if you start guessing on the website. But I'm going to hand the letter up every day. So S, first letter. Write it down. Okay, let's go. That's enough of a break for you. We're going to get into our squats. So we're ready. 30 seconds. Get yourself ready. Let's go. So remembering those hips are going back. See if you can get a little bit lower now, a little bit deeper into those squats. Try to keep your upper body up point if you can. If you want to challenge yourself any more than that, keep going upper body. You can grab yourself a weight if you want to. Make it a little bit harder if you've got any weights. Dumbbells, you can grab some of these and get into your squats, holding your weights. If you don't have any weights, you can grab a bottle of something heavy. Like what? I don't know. That's your squats done. You can grab a tin of something. Just find something heavy if you need to. Okay, so we're doing the reverse lunge with a knee drive balance. Okay, so we're going to lunge it back. Let's go. Back, focus. Don't rush these because otherwise you're making it easier for yourself. You need to challenge yourself by slowing it down. And pausing on that balance. Squeeze in the tummy. Okay, that's that leg done. <clears throat> Changing sides. Make sure you get it right. Get ready. Okay, let's go. Step back. Keep your posture nice and tall. already. So this will all really help guys. You feel your ankle and your foot have to really work to stabilise you and to keep that balance. Well done. Okay, glute bridges. If you found the first set too easy, go on to the single leg ones. Okay, let's go. Raise the hips, squeeze and lower. Do a little pause at the top. Lift, squeeze, hold it. And now lower. Lift, squeezing, holding. And lower. Squeeze before you even start moving though. Try and get that squeeze on the whole time. And we're pausing at the top now. Just don't really get those glutes fired up. Well done guys. That's that one done. Jump lunges coming up. Jump lunges, or we're just going to go into a forward lunge if you want to. Okay, let's go. Focus. Do what you feel comfortable with your hands. Legs are a bit wobbly. I've done about four videos already this morning. Oh. Okay. Shake them out. Oh. Dead bugs. Down we go. Get into position. Legs up, arms up. Okay, off we go. Back into the floor, most important. Oh. Squeeze the stomach. Push your belly button down towards the floor. Really focus on it. I 
Okay, guys, well done. Just do a little full body stretch out. Push your fingertips away. Push your toes away. Hug your knees into your tummy. Release your back a little bit. Just a little rock. Okay. If you want to do that all over again, guys, you can go for a third set. Just rewind the video a little bit and do it again. Otherwise, we're going to go on to our challenge. The next part of our interactive part of the video, we're going to do a forearm plank challenge. You're going to do it for as long as you can, okay? And then I would like you to post your time on the website. Your best plank challenge time, <clears throat> you're going to have to time yourself, right? Because I can't see you. Mine's going to be rubbish. <laughs> I've done too much today on too little sleep. So, time yourself. You can start with me. Um, we'll look at the techniques quickly first of all. And then you're gonna post your time, okay? Let's see who gets the best time. By the end of our um, lockdown period, let's see which perfect runner posts the best time. And look out, because I have to tell you, Julia Noon, she's a little bit hot at these, and Rossi, his ace. So we'll have a, man, a men's winner and a ladies winner. See what you can do. Right then, when you're doing the forearm plank, it's really important to make sure that your bottom is not sticking up too high because that's cheating. You want your bottom in line with your spine. Do not dip it down because that's worse than anything because that is really bad for your lower back. If your back starts to ache at all, Please come out of your squat. I know it's a challenge and we are very competitive because we're runners, but come out of it. Do not carry on if your back is hurt. Squeeze your tummy though. That is how you're gonna stabilize yourself, okay? And take your mind to a different place, because this is tough. All right. So, pushing up on the toes. We'll start together, okay? And then you just do it for as long as you can. And when I stop, don't you stop. Carry on timing yourself. Up we go, now, squeeze. Oh, oh, that is too 
two and a half minutes. I'm out. You carry on. Oh. If you're still on it, guys, huge respect. Oh. Keep on it. Keep squeezing and breathing. Man, that was hard. If you finish, get yourself into child pose. Then you put your feet together, sit your bottom back onto your heels. Let me come over here a bit. Stretch those arms forward. I expect Ross is, to be fair. He's a bit of a master painter. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay everybody. Oh, it's the little things that amuse me. Locking brain, crazy. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, hopefully it won't be too long before we see each other all again at club. I miss you all guys and um, Please feel free to tap into any of my other videos and get yourself a good workout while you're locked in. If you're still planking, just keep timing it. Don't forget to post your time. There's a prize for the men's winner, prize for the ladies' winner. But we'll just keep trying. You can keep trying it. You can keep trying the plank challenge right until the end of lockdown. When we've had lockdown finish, or lock in, or whatever we're on, um, then that would be when we announce the winner. And don't forget, anagram. That's today's letter. Do you know who it is? Not yet, clearly. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good day. Oh, don't forget to stretch and cool down. Use the video.